Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I've got a four, 45 minute soul journey session that I'm doing for a client. So I'm gonna be sharing energy work and wisdom. I'm gonna go ahead and read these goals here and then I'm gonna be getting connected. Okay, goals are I am psychic, medium, empath, and probably much more. It all just kind of happened. It changed my life, but I know I have so much more growing to do and I would like to move a little faster. I feel I may have some blockages and I'm hungry for a stronger connection to my higher self and guides to all of myself in higher vibration. Okay. Hmm. It's just a lot of beautiful energy just coming through this here. It's almost like smelling just delightful flowers. I'm going to relax and and get connected and get started, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, blockages. <sighs> Connection to higher self guides. Speeding up the process or expanding, understanding, working with psychic gifts more. <sighs> okay. feels like a, it's like a beautiful dizziness that sort of rushes literally like uh, right down the center of my forehead and then it goes to the right then it just comes straight around like this and it's very relaxing almost dizzying but in a really good way there's a what is like a being standing here behind myself and I'm just touching here just the back of my head <sighs> exhaustion but it's starting to feel a little bit more tiring, a little bit more real. It's almost like being in a trance state, like um, kind of alter, going out of your normal kind of conscious level of uh, awareness, just feeling um, like you're in a trance state. That's kind of what this is reminding me of. <clears throat> I mean, that's that's literally what I'm experiencing here. It's like um, letting go of self, literally letting go of self. And then this being um, has a fluid communication. So it comes directly from higher realms. It doesn't it doesn't even go through the ego. It doesn't even go through any conscious level of the human because it's it's coming from higher realms. So the human seems to like kind of turn off their um, connection with themselves and just allows the message to come through and it, it's like it's really interesting it's really unique it's different than what I do <laughs> um, but they're showing me this okay I just keep hearing trusting in the guidance trust in the guidance okay what's next Still relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. <sighs> Slowing down. <sighs> Depth, going deeper. Almost hypnotic in a way. Just allowing yourself to let go and be carried away by something beyond yourself. <sighs> it's pure. It's pure loving energy. I mean, this is not um, energy that's defiled or, I mean, it's a pure threads. It's not tainted in any way. Um, it's, it's very safe feeling. It's very, um, it feels very safe and warm and I like it. <laughs> so I hear the word confidence. And again, the experience of like a hypnotic trance state, like a going deeper, 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 still going deeper, even deeper, still deeper now. Like, um, but it's it's just like in this hypnotic trance like state.
Okay. It's really, really powerfully just coaxing me. It's powerfully coaxing me into a relaxed state. It's slowing down. The energies are just absolutely beautiful. So breathtaking, so inviting, kind. There's different colors. I, I see a lot of red and green. And obviously, I guess it's a December, but there's something to these colors. And it's not about this time of year. There's actually red energies and green energies. So... So this is all about you and relaxing you. There's something about the feet here too. Allowing the energy to flow through your feet and connect you with the earth. I mean, energy is just really welling up around the feet. It's like you're standing in two buckets of water. <laughs> but it's it's like, it's surreal. It's I mean, there's just so much beautiful energy here. And so this energy is just circulating around the feet, but it, it needs to be allowed into the earth too. A deeper connection with the earth. There's so much energy being sent down. It's just going down. So some things that I'm picking up on is you mu you, you must meditate or you must go into some kind of altered state of being or of mind. I know you, you're, you're, you're accessing your psychic ability. You're aware that you have psychic ability and gifts. So there's something here that you just feel very familiar, very familiar with this sort of um, allowing this slowing down and just allowing all this beautiful energy in. I mean, I could hear um, like going to a like a spiritual group or a class where you have a leader and they're um, speaking you into a relaxed state and you're going on a journey, but it's more than that. I mean, the first thing I experience is actually allowing, I mean, it, it, it takes some very special gifts to be able to let go of your ego, let go of being human. I have a, like for me, for instance, I work in between realms, so I want to translate it in a familiar way that is familiar to myself based on the way that it makes me feel, what it reminds me of. Um, and so I speak to humans from my human self, right? Um, but this is just, I don't need to be human. It's just it's just allowing this energy to flow through you. And it's super, I've never felt it like this before. There's like, literally, it feels natural. It feels as natural as babies being born. They just are born. Like this is just so natural. 
and the, this energy is just smells like uh, beautiful perfumes. <sighs> this is about you. You see what y you bring to the table here? Do you see what I'm already able to access about you? There is not even a flicker of grossness or <laughs> I mean I'm not stepping into the dirt here um, and as a healer I go into the dirty places <laughs> and, and then we see the vulnerability and we love those vulnerabilities and they're okay you know but here they're wanting to show you this like there's no dirt here that I'm stepping into I mean I I don't like to use words like this but it's very safe and I, I don't like to use that word because then people become afraid, like, well, should I not feel safe? Should I want to be protected? Like, then the mind just takes it away. It, it's just, it doesn't need to even be worried about, like, it just is. And, I mean, this perfume just expands for just miles in every direction. I don't even know if I could even come close to mimicking the way this energy is coming to me and even flowing through me, I literally have to let myself go in order to even come close to attaining the level of what we're talking about here. So just to describe it in this way, it will hopefully um, help you to understand. I mean, this is, this is really profound, very profound. I'm going to get back into your feet now, okay? <laughs> it, it just, again, it's just, it's so safe in here. It's very rare that I, I walk into a space where it is absolutely safe. You are surrounded by so much perfume and so much fragrant flower energy and so much of the goodness that there's only that here like I feel safe in your energy field there's no anxieties there's no toxicity there's no it's like pure safety I I feel like safe on a regular basis but I didn't realize that I could feel safer <laughs> you know so I'm in your energy field and I feel safer <laughs> that's really cool that is really cool Okay, your feet. Let's see. All right, another word. Um, so I hear star child, and then uh, there's energy that circulates around the feet, and the whole scene shifts. And it's like a dark, deep purple color that surrounds you, and your feet are sort of tapped into this dark, this sort of like deep purple. And you're standing on something on energy but it's flowing through the bottom of your feet it's flowing up um it's sort of like coming out your feet but it's almost like you're standing on it so is it connected to you is it flowing out of you is it what is this exactly but then it's sort of flowing around you too and it's just out in you know it's kind of out in the ethers i don't know there's like dark everywhere it does feel like the universe, but there's no stars. You're so peaceful and patient. This is some, this is, it's either a different part of yourself or it's a sort of, some sort of guide. Just a second, I'm, I'm observing here and analyzing. So she keeps up, she's really high up, um, and she just keeps, it's, it's like she's waiting for something, um, waiting for you, she's, um, feels like she's waiting. And she can't really leave her post or this, her station or um, this location until there, a certain shift takes place, and then, then there's, this, she can do whatever she's supposed to do. <laughs> She's just sort of um, delayed out here. But she doesn't, she immediately says, no, not delayed, I'm just waiting. There's no delay, I'm just waiting. <clears throat> and there seems to be a barrier between, there's uh, energies here between you and between her. 
And it, it's, see, this is why it's complicated because she feels like a part of you, but she also feels kind of guide-like as well. But then there's just sort of energies between you that's kind of, I, I feel very strongly that these need to be cleared out. So there's like a, a direct connection between the both of you. Even this idea of, um, like, it's time for her now to be more present in your body than you. <laughs> it's, it's very, it's, I've never come across this, like, super rare. But it's almost like um, she's also participating in this life with you, um, as you. <laughs> and you are also going to be you. So it's like you're going to have a twin part of yourself working with you inside of you. And it, that's why it feels guide-like because it, she's ready to merge and now work with you in this lifetime. But as a part of you, as being you with you. <laughs> Do you follow? <laughs> That's what it's like right now, okay? You you have no idea. You have on the conscious level you would not be aware of this. You would not be aware of her. She's a uh, like African um black skin, but she has um she doesn't have African hair. Um, it's like Caucasian hair, but it's dark, dark, dark brown. I mean, it, she was like made out of chocolate. <laughs> but she's obviously not. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's the smooth and the silkiness. I, I don't know why I keep thinking of dark chocolate. But <laughs> um, but she's out there. She's like really dark, um, dark, dark complexion. Smooth. I, I keep like there's something smooth and silky, like um, absolutely beautiful about her. <sighs> Again, with the it's like um, this continues. This is continuing here. Um, the smell of perfume. The taste of chocolate um um the most like beautiful things and like what we delight in right um she too is part of that <laughs> as you are also a part of that so you again it's coming back are really surrounded by this like really wonderful delightful energy beautiful fragrant tasty <laughs> um who want, doesn't want to just rejoice in your energy field right <laughs> so again we have this um repeating itself here i'm supposed to it's like it's time for me to focus on whatever this barrier is now it's black but it isn't black it's dark blue somebody i know is coming here to, to it just it's echoing or reflecting back um uh, just a spirit being that i'm familiar with <sighs> has to do with dark energy black energy it reminds me a lot of star guy who is just an alien friend, but he's uh, kind of like an energy being as well. And this was sort of um, the key words of Star Child were also sort of reflective when we're entering into these new messages. So Star Guy is kind of coming in and I feel his energy here as I'm looking across this sort of um, super dark blue. It's so dark blue, it's, it looks black, but it's this this sort of this barrier but even it is like pretty and it's like a smooth mirror it's like un it's ridiculously wonderful to like br like graze your fingers across it i don't know why it's so satisfying but it's like touching this feels great <laughs> but it's also like a liquid it looks like a liquid but you, it's, it's just i can't explain it it's wonderful So he, Star Guy is asking me to go into this color, into this dark energy, this black energy. 
it's it's pure love it's not um it's not like tar or negative it's like it's literally there's something pure love about this um we still have to understand why it is also a separator okay i'm going in <clears throat> It's consciousness. It's a it's a vast consciousness. It's got male energy. It's a deep, deep thinker type. I mean, it doesn't need to speak. It just like it emanates deep depth, deep thinker. And it's like a whole universe that is a consciousness. Again, they show me your feet and this energy pooling around the feet. Again, now they show me this uh, dark woman here um, sta standing on the dark purple, right? And then this barrier, this uh, dark, this black. And I feel um, like exquisite diamond cut energy as well. I mean, this is all sort of com complex, uh, we interconnected, like little facets in a perfectly cut diamond. It's all interconnected. But something is going to shift here because what we're looking at is a really big deal. And it's time. <laughs> it's always time, but it is definitely time here. <laughs> <clears throat> Everything is really peaceful and comfortable. I it, it it's not usual. I'm I'm listening for sounds that are going to aggravate your emotions or overwhelm your mind or um make create imbalance, but there's none. So when I'm listening to to people's energy fields, um I listen for these types of things so I could focus on their vulnerabilities, but there is like a pure openness here. And there isn't a vulnerability. There's no dirt. <laughs> There's nothing. I mean, it's all just open. It's it's really surreal. I mean, this is you we're talking about here. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, this is... Okay, so... It's getting... Um, that deep thinker vibe is also getting me thinking. And when I get into thinking, I become connected to many parallel universes and um, altering timelines of past, present, future, and we're talking trillions. Just by thinking, I am connected to trillions of timelines, trillion of po possibilities that are all actually taking place. It's like this. And this deep thinker, it's like I'm experiencing this. And this has to, it's almost like it has to be let go now. This deep thinker. Um, has to be let go now because it's not appropriate anymore and I'm not understanding wh what um, the purpose was <laughs> other than um, with you connected to the deep thinker and then her connected to the deep thinker um, it was creating just trillions of timelines it's just so much but it wasn't um, like creating ripples of overwhelmingness for either of you which is also extraordinary. I feel strongly that he's supposed to be let go of somehow. I'm still trying to figure out how. Just a minute here. Hmm. <laughs> I have a weird idea. I become connected to all these timelines, all these parallel universes, and on and on. And I send a ripple of difference 
it's it's different so just a little thread a little string of just plucking that sound and it goes across all of this like a massive spider web and it just vibrates the whole thing so that it creates change okay let's see what happens he uh he he knows that i'm here and he knew that i was going to be here and he knows that this was going to happen and he he's showing me all the time so this does this this wasn't um an act of um surprise you know but he um expresses a sadness <clears throat> And I hug him and I say, don't be sad. Mm. Something is feels sticky about his energy right now because I go to hug him and it's sticky. It's like glued. He's like glued into this place. And he has a grandfather type energy. And I can feel you shifting in your energy field from upper solar plexus kind of down um, through the, this digestive intestinal region, okay? And almost into the sacral chakra. So that, that's a huge movement. And again, this is sort of like um, center of the third eye. So it's like the third eye becomes two, you know? But it just like right in the center and then it whooshes around from the right and then around. That's happening right now. I call him Grandfather Time. He's choosing to reveal himself as stuck like this for a reason. I mean, this guy knows his stuff, so he isn't glued, but he's show revealing it like this for a reason. And I, you have a twin sister because I, um, cause even as I, I'm looking at this glue and I, I'm just trying to make sense. Why are you glued? Like, why are, why are you doing this? What are you trying to say to me? You know, I'm like, I'm like, Hmm, like I keep looking at him and just eyeballing him like this. And he knows, he knows exactly what's going on in my head. Um, but I see you on the earth. Okay. And then I see you, I, I'm telling you, it's some like twin, twin soul or twin part of you. Um, and she's up here and it's almost like um they shift so they're kind of um let's say i don't know like like so there's there's noon and then there's one and then there's like two so we got two and then there's like six and then seven and then eight or something so it's like two and eight and then, and then it goes like this you know so now we have this so you're kind of like going in alignment with each other and this grandfather time is in the center okay and then I'm there with grandfather time. So you and her now are kind of like balancing each other here like that. And it reminds me of a clock too and time. And he's getting like, um, it's like his essence is turning to glue. Like he's kind of melting into glue as he's like getting like more of a puddle and then less of him. And it's like, he's Frosty the snowman, but he's made out of glue and it's like melting into glue on the floor. Very silent right now. I go, I, I so suddenly go back to that moment where I plucked the string and it rippled across. I'm going back in time to that moment and I'm doing it again 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 and I'm doing it over and over and over and over again like infinite times. I'm repeating it, repeating it, repeating it. It happens and 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 it never stops happening forever. And I do it and then I do it again and then I do it again and then I do it again and then I do it again. Like I'm seeing this and it feels very natural feels very natural to repeat the same action like bajillion times for all eternity. It feels very natural. I'm not sure why though. 
And I feel Grandfather Time is sort of watching from the stars now down at this scene where I continue to do the same action over and over again and then the sisters are here. So it's like a, like what, three o'clock and nine o'clock. <laughs> but you're here. Um, and I don't want to use numbers. I, I just, it, it's like uh, you're on a horizontal plane now, okay? You're on the same ground as each other. You are now on the same ground as each other. And it is time, okay? Maybe there's something in numerology with three, threes, you know? Maybe there's something there. Maybe you have a connection with, like, the number three. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Let's see. All right, all right. Now, this is the first time. I, I'm feeling, like, a little bit of aggravation. Yay! You have a sensitivity. <laughs> so it's, like, aggravation happening. Sensitivity. They call it change. Ugh. <sighs> okay, so they don't call it sensitivity. They just call it change. Change is felt. Just like when you pluck the string and it goes ripples across all of time, it is felt. So change is felt. They keep saying this. <sighs> I mean, it's like, um, it's like, uh, kind of like a, a metamorphosis and, um, it's not necessarily painful. It's just like, um, like it's happening, you know, and it's like, um, it's changing. It's, ch it's, I don't know how to describe it. Doesn't hurt though, but it is, um, oh, it's got an overwhelmingness to it. Things are getting quieter now. You have not seen this twin for a really long time. You have not. That's why you would never have known about her. Like, it's like so long ago. And she knows who you are. You aren't from, you don't remember. I don't know if that's because the human, I don't know why, but it's quite clear. Like, her energy is like, knows everything and is coming towards you. Your energy is like, huh? <laughs> that might be the human in you, you know, um, but she's walking towards you now, crossing this, like, crossing here and almost to you. You're recognizing her, you're starting to remember, and you look Asian, and you have really long hair, really long hair, dark hair, and she's, like, pure, um, black she's it's just so she's just coming to you and then you, you are very asian looking i mean you're both extraordinary looking like not your average faces here like really unique appearances for an asian or for an african um expression okay like they're cool <laughs> all right Okay. Um, you're now looking into each other's eyes and you call each other's sister. And there's just, it's like you're walking into a mirror. And there's like a center line between you both. And when you walk into it, it's like you become a single line. You literally do. And you just walk into the line, which is like walking into each other. But the, you just, it's just like a line is what's left. But they call, they're saying this is a thread. It's like an identity. Um, it's emerging and it's a thread. And I see inside this line is the, um, joy and happiness and um, reunion and communication and just sharing. There's lots of colors. It's very gal galaxy-like. Um, really rich purples um, primarily. <laughs> but there's like these blue um, colors too. And lots of stars. There seems to be moving objects. Um, not necessarily like uh, spaceships. It's more like asteroids or something. Um, but it's very galaxy-like. Galactic-like. 
and you're just so happy. I mean, you're both like absolutely bubbly and so happy and you're just like hanging out in this line. <laughs> it's so cool. You're just sharing, like you're just um, beaming stuff off of each other back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it's just like energy, 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 share, 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 share. It's like so exciting and happy right now. But I can feel it's going to transition here into um, what is like a deep conversation about what you're going to do together, um, what you're going to work on, what you're going to accomplish together. So uh, just to give you... Um, a little background here so you could see this potentially as here's your soul all right your soul decides something some event happens and your soul becomes two all right it's still the one it's still the one it always will be the one but then you have these two parts that go on to live two uniquely different timelines now right now in your life right now this is so cool but um here you are living as you all right but you have this part um that is wanting to return and it is meant to return. And so it's like you're going to regain a half of yourself, a sister soul. And she she's like re realigning with you. And you're like becoming the one soul. Like you're, you're merging all of her lifetimes now with all of your lifetimes. And you're merging as one. <laughs> Do you see how mind-blowing and cool this is? <laughs> okay, I'll see. There is there there's like it's like happy for all eternity, but there go, go there's like new time, and they're um the, they're like sharing deep okay depth, um, deep communications. She they're showing me that what's happening is, um, it's sort of like you could see it as like the initial excitement of of um the um reconnection okay and then um introducing what that that half had experienced and then what this half had experienced so there's like they're looking at the timelines they're looking at the soul's um experiences they're they're um, engaging with everything like in a really fine-tuned tooth comb kind of way like they're really engaging with what what have you been up to oh this is what i've been up to like but it's it's like on a totally different level of what it is to share <laughs> like it's um deep processing of each other and it's uh reflections on all the lifetimes and all the learning that is a very simplistic way of describing what's going on here There's a merging of the timelines right now, merging of the souls, emerging of the, the pathways. Like her, the this dark, um, this African version and this Asian version. Like there, her, the souls, like your sister souls, um, all of her lives now. It's like a DNA strand. They're like intertwining and then and like merging together into light. Um, you're becoming one again. It's huge it's like a really special thing really special <clears throat> it's it's as if you you are you have no identity as in like um you're neither that that african and you, nor the asian you're neither one you're whatever the splice of the two becomes like you you just did a mash em, mash up, <laughs> and now whatever you both were before, you're like a combination of something totally new and different. Never, n no identity to define it yet. It's just like light right now. And I see inside of this light, it, it's... um. It's mathematical. I mean, it's a only way I could describe it is I I really am thinking a lot about math right now and there's like all these numbers and equations and like extraordinary things that are like Einstein level like and beyond. <laughs> I can't explain it, but I just see lots and lots of like mathematical um equations and numbers and smart stuff and galactic stuff. That's like what's swirling around in here and it's really um numerological. But it's more than that. It's like a science. But it's also like, like um, 
the balance of the universe. It's like, um, I mean, it's, it's like everything. It's like what, it's what is the most, it's the dynamic, um, that, that creates the ultimate balance of all things. Like, that's what this is. This is a mathematical moment and it's literally everything. And it's, it's cool. I never felt it like this before. So, um, again, okay, Grandfather Time <clears throat> is showing me that in this light, where the identity is just sort of light with all this mathematical stuff going on, um, Grandfather Time shows me inside inside this light is the sisters. Inside their light is the sisters. Inside their light is the sisters. And on and on and on and on and on and on and on. It's like I go back to pluck to string. I go back to pluck to string. I go back to pluck to string. It's like on and on and on and on and on and on. The sisters. The sisters. The sisters. In this light is the sisters. In this light is the sisters. In this light is the sisters. Forever. Forever and ever and ever. It's pure love. It's pure love. Something is happening because that, that merging is becoming more um, condensed, more um, concentrated. And I feel it in your heart. I mean, I feel it in your heart, very much so in your heart. There's no real mind contamination. There's no ego reaction. It's just like purely in the heart. It's amazing. It is so warm. It is so warm. And now these pools of water that I was talking about, it's like um, where both of these legs were yours, and now you share, like, the right leg is your sister's and the left leg is your leg. Like, it's kind of like this, like, you are sharing your legs now. You are sharing the body. You are sharing the arms. You're sharing it all, the eyes, you know. Um, and so the pools of water are now sort of shifting. It's like they can go now. They can go now. Like they aren't pooling like they were. And this energy that wants to go down is like able to. You are going to be feeling a newness for sure. A newness. And maybe, I mean, I would, I would define it based on what I've seen and what I've experienced. I would define it as like, um, I mean, it's like you graduated to a new sense of self, a new self-expression. And I feel that you will notice it. I feel you will notice it. It'll be different than what you've been <laughs> before, okay? And it's wonderful. It's all pure love. I mean, you're one, you're one soul. Like it would have, I, it's like before this session, you were one soul. Okay. And now you're still one soul. You just got this like massive upgrade. Okay. So you're still one soul. So don't like, let this freak you out too much in the mind. Like, oh, I have a twin sister now inside me. Like what, uh, can I talk to her? Like, what does this mean? It's like, um, I see it now. I see you as one soul, but I can see into, and I see the two sisters are, are here and the two sisters and then the two sisters and the, there they are. There's the sisters again, the sisters. Um, so you're like one soul, but in the mirror inside that soul is the sisters, you know, and that's you, that's you. It's beautiful. I don't know why, but it, like I can feel energy going down the legs. I, like it, my feet are getting cold for some reason, but I, I mean, my feet are being like noticeably, I s experience my feet. And um, there's like a cold energy that is going draining through my feet. I mean, it is, it's a very weird feeling. I've, I've not felt anything quite like it, I will say. <laughs> it's like somebody put cold water into my veins in my feet or something like I, I feel my feet feel cold <clears throat> but it's inside my blood it's cool still doing it it's still draining
I feel like you're gonna have more of um, an understanding of what your your calling is next. Um, it just it feels like um, how do I wanna uh, give me a second here? It's like the, like I saw this message come through. It's like um, it's like you have a session like this, and you're curious or you're you're ready to do the next thing, right? But it seems quite simple. It seems like it just sort of falls right into your lap. It seems like um, it's gonna it's going to become obvious, even if it's not quite obvious. You're you're like it. If for me, energy wise, it feels obvious. It feels simple. It feels like it falls right into your lap, and it feels like a, a new direction. And it may be part of the same old direction, but it's like gonna be new, man. It's new. I, I don't even want to say the same old direction. There is no same old direction, zero of that. Like, I feel like you are going to be doing new things. It's it's kind of a funny image that came. It was basically just like a wooden door. And that's all it was. Um, and I and it's like the number three, and I felt three months, all right? And um, it's things just falling into the lap and then smiling and just feeling peaceful about the direction in life, but feeling like I know where I'm going. Um, and I didn't have to think too hard about it. So that was like the compilation of what's come to me. It's like, how do I explain the message? It's a lot of things in that one. Um, again, like waves of just, just be happy. Like, um, I don't know why like, col many colors are, are like coming to me and smiling faces and the feeling of refreshed. I feel refreshed and I'm, I'm going to let go of holding on to any kind of burdens cause I don't need them. And I just want to be free. Like I want to be a, like a dancer on the air. Like I just want to be free, but it's not even a want. It's just like a carefree, um, inspiration just manifests. It's wonderful. <laughs> It is phenomenal. It's like super great. It's so easy. I mean, it's so easy. It's like the colors just come and it's just so easy and you just intermingle with the colors and it's just like, it doesn't get easier than this. <laughs> and it's natural. It's instinctive. It's like it always was this way. And it's always happy, like, um, there's a lot of happiness. I mean, obviously life is going to come with its challenges. It's going to come with, some days aren't as good as others, but it, like, they're really lay layering it on thick. Good, good. Happiness. The colors come. It's easy. Falls right into your lap. Great. <laughs> they like keep sending me all this, which is really good vibes. Really, really good vibes. And again, this is you. I mean, I'm in your energy field. I feel safer than I, I don't even, I didn't even know I could feel safer, but I do. And it's so wonderful in here. And the sisters are reunited and it's like, it's a joyful event. I mean, it's like a really joyful event and the love and the happiness are just like flowing right now. It's just wonderful. This is so wonderful. And man, I don't get, I don't get to access the happy like all, all like as often as I am like I always walk into the dirt which I love because I love healing the wounds you know and so I, it's very surreal to go and do this um journey for you and there's like a, there's no vulnerability there's like I'm not stepping into the vulnerability <laughs> where is it where is it I know you're here somewhere <laughs> but this is what I'm I am meant to do today and to show you this um to um it's like a major gift a major universe gift but it's also a divine time. So grandfather time knew this was going to happen, already did happen, you know, <laughs> the spider web of everything. It's cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that's all I have to share. Thank you so much. This was fantastic. Thank you for sharing too on YouTube. There's This is a really neat session. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you all and have a great day.